The structure shown is composed of 12 cubes. If the edge length of each cube is one half of an inch, what is the volume of the structure? The structure shown is a rectangular prism, and to find the volume of any rectangular prism, you can simply multiply the length times the width times the height of that rectangular prism. The length, the width, and the height of any rectangular prism will always be represented by these three dimensions. So if we can figure out the length of each of these dimensions and multiply them together, that will give us the volume of this rectangular prism. The problem states that the edge length of each cube is one half of an inch. That means the distance from here to here would be one half of an inch. So we have another half of an inch here and another half of an inch here. This dimension would be half of an inch. And for the height, from here to here is one half, and then two halves, and then three halves, and then four halves. So for the height, we can substitute this h with four halves. For the width, we can substitute that with the improper fraction of three halves, and the length is just one half. So to find the volume, all we have to do is multiply these fractions together. For the numerator, we can multiply 1 times 3, which is 3, and 3 times 4, which is 12. For the denominators, we have 2 times 2, which is 4, and 4 times 2, which is 8. We have the improper fraction 12 over 8, and we may simplify this improper fraction by dividing the greatest common factor of 4 into each one of these numbers. 4 can be divided into 12 3 times, and 4 can be divided into 8 2 times. Now we have to rename our improper fraction as a mixed number. Some people can do this step mentally, but if you cannot, simply take the numerator and divide it by your denominator, and stop when you get a remainder. 2 may be divided into 3 one whole time, and 1 times 2 is 2, leaving us with a remainder of 1. Write a fraction bar right next to your whole number at the top, and your remainder will always be your numerator, and your divisor will always make your denominator. So we can say that the volume of this rectangular prism is equal to 1 and 1 half cubic inches. A second strategy that can be used to find the volume of this rectangular prism is to find the volume of each individual cube and then multiply that volume by 12 because we know that there are 12 cubes present. So let's just examine the volume of an individual cube. It is given that the edge length of each side of the cube is one half of an inch. So to find the volume of this cube, we just have to raise one half to the third power. In other words, we are going to multiply one half by one half by one half, and that will give us the volume of each individual cube. If we multiply all of the numerators together, that's going to be a product of one. And for the denominators, we have two times two, which is four, and four times two, which is eight. So the volume of each cube is one eighth of a cubic unit. And because we have 12 cubes, we may multiply that volume by 12. And when multiplying a fraction by a whole number, simply write a number 1 underneath that whole number. 1 times 12 is equal to 12, and for the denominators, we multiply 8 times 1, and that gives us a product of 8. 12 over 8 may be reduced to 3 halves, and 3 halves may be rewritten as the mixed number 1 and 1 half cubic inches.